The ultimate security is now in your pocket. And what the Google blog says right here. You can use your Android phone as a security key to protect your Google account from phishing attacks. I don't care how internet savvy you are. Any of us can be a victim of phishing attacks. They have been getting really good with phishing attacks too. I mean, they are very subtle. And it'll look just like a Google like a Google website that look, that's asking for your um, for your password and email, and uh, you think you're signing into something, and what you're really doing is you're giving somebody your credentials, your digital credentials to sign into your account. Now, if you don't have two-factor authentication on there, which is called for short two FA. If you don't have 2FA on your account, then you just gave access to your account to somebody that's more than likely going to sell those credentials to the highest bidder. You know, depending on um, depending on what kind of influence you are. Like if you're um, a politician or really rich or something like that. There's all kinds of reasons that uh, hackers will fish your account. But uh, it does not matter whether you are a professor of computer co of science or a beginner user. Any of us can potentially be fooled by a phishing attack. They're going to catch you one day that you just aren't at the top of what you're looking for. And yes, when you when you turn your phone into a key, it looks. It, this is an exact example of what it does. You hold on to the volume down button of your phone until that big check comes up, and it, it's a it's a little bit of a way to that. It ain't like instantaneous. You hold it down, it does the check, and then like a couple seconds later, boop, it gives you access. But um. I'm going to show you that Captain Obvious was part of this project to make your phone a, a key for your account. I mean, user-friendly is written into every aspect of this operation here. So let's close out the Google blog, and let's go into myaccount.google.com slash security. And as you can see... I am a member of the Advanced Protection Program. And if you don't know what Advanced Protection Program is, my uh, last video, Google Advanced Protection Program, that I up, up, uploaded, uh, walks you through how to enroll into the program. And this, ro this program is, from what I've seen, it is the best free security you can get online. Uh, the program itself does not cost you anything to enroll or unenroll. You do not have to have um, Google's permission. You don't have to call anybody up. It's literally, literally all just to push it a button. So say that you in, enroll into the program. And then a couple days later, you decide, you know, you really don't need that much security or because uh, or, or whatever reason. It's, it's just too much for you. You, you can just go and unenroll, unenroll. Right. And it'll still have your keys and everything in it just to open, unlock more of your account so you can use it for other uh, programs. And uh, but anyways, I'm getting a little sidetracked here. This is a great program. I highly suggest it now. Once you've got, gotten into the program, or whether you're in the program at all, it doesn't matter. You're going to want to go down here to signing into Google. And you're going to want to go to two-step verification. In my situation, it's on. It may be off for you, depending on the status of your account. 
and we're going to hit this uh, arrow here so we can open up two-step verification. All right. And I get prompted for my password. Now, since I'm in two uh, in the advanced protection program, my two-step verification page, which I personally, in my opinion, this is the most important page on your account. But since I'm in the advanced protection program. My page looks different. It's removed all the other options other than physical security keys. So in my situation, and anybody else who is in advanced protection program, it is important for you to have good physical uh, keys. And you're supposed to have two. But it really helps to have more than two, you know, because if you lose one and all you have is one left for your account, that, that sucks. So, and say you lose a key and you're not really sure what's going on, uh, you know, whether it got stolen or maybe a kid grabbed it and ran off and played hide and said, maybe, hey, I used to be a ferret owner, man. Maybe your ferrex got a hold of one of them keys and, and tucked it away in one of their mini, and mini hidey holes that they have. Well, if you're not sure, you got this revoke trust. Revoke trusted status from your devices that skip two-step verification. All right, so if you're not sure about the status of your devices or your keys, in other words, you are lacking trust, then you want to revoke trust. So I want to be prompted once I, once I put the key in, I want to be prompted to make sure that the key is working. So I'm going to revoke trust from everything. And a letter from Captain Obvious says to sign in again, you'll need your phone or a backup option for the second step. Thank you, Captain Obvious. All right, we are going to get rid of the phone. Oh, and by the way, before I move any further, Google and... Ubico are not paying me any money to do this video. I'm doing, I'm doing this video. I'm doing this video out of customer loyalty. Oh, that prompt down there, Ubico is having one of their events, and I want to watch it live, so I'm going to hurry up here. Um, Ubico is a bunch of great guys. Uh, if you get a chance, go to Twitter. And, and follow them. Uh, they got some, the people that are running their um, Twitter account got great uh, sense of humor, and they've they got a pretty good am, ad campaign with sense of humor. Sense of humor sells. All right, so I'm going to remove my phone here, and this I'm going to show you how simple this is. To remove it, you just push the trash can. And Captain Obvious writes, if you remove this security key, you won't be able to use it to sign in. Thank you, Captain Obvious. We would not have known that without you. And this is how user-friendly it is. Even though you've removed your phone from your account, you will always be prompted to use your phone as a security key. And the reason why is because the same account I'm using, the same email account I'm using for my G account, my Google account, is the same email that I'm using on my phone. So if you do not see this being prompted, you want to use your phone, but you don't see this being prompted, then it's because your phone is not sharing the same email as your Google account. 
It is literally that simple. And that's why you're not seeing it up there. Either that or you don't have Bluetooth turned on. But it is literally as easy as pushing the add button. So we're going to go over here. And like the black text says underneath of it, we're going to add it on. And um, I don't have two Google Pixel 3 XLs. If I had two Google Pixel 3 XLs, I would have gave somebody a Google Pixel 3 XL. But I don't have two Google Pixel 3 XLs, so I'm not going to do it. I would suggest picking the one on the top. You want to make sure that your Bluetooth is on and your location is on. And of course, as usual, it only works in Chrome. But why would anybody use any other browser? Because all the other browsers suck. So we're going to add it. And done. It is that simple. And we can just keep throwing it out and putting it back on and throwing it out and putting it back on. So it's very user-friendly system. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to step back so that we can get prompted. I'm going to step back one page. I'm going to scroll back down again. And I'm going to go back into the two-step verification because it's such a very secure page. I know for a fact that it is going to prompt me for my credentials. That's why we're going back into it, just, just in case you wanted to know. Well, well who would have known? I got prompted. And... Just because it's prompting you on the phone, just because it's prompting you on the phone, doesn't mean you have to use that option. You can click on this part right here and pull up and switch it over to USB option. But I'm going to uh, hold down the uh, volume control on my phone here, and I'll tell you when the uh, check mark comes up. All right, check mark came up. Now it's got a... a on the phone, it's saying connecting to your device. That's how it's it's fairly quick. I mean, it ain't as fast as say plugging the um, the USB keys in, but it ain't slow either. All right, this this is good. And uh, as always, you know, this is your trust button here. Uh, if you trust this device and you don't want this device to ever ask for your keys again, you just leave this checked. But in this situation, I'm going to leave it unchecked because I'm making videos on keys. And we go right on in, and we're done. All right, wonderful. Uh, it really is that easy. Uh, Google on. Y'all be safe, my brothers and sisters. I'll see you on the next video, and uh, if you get a chance, go to Facebook Chromebook. We all hanging around there helping each other out. Later.